Hi, welcome to a new session in English and Grammar classes. So we will be dealing with direct and indirect speech today. Last class we were dealing about uh, active and passive voices. So we are going to deal with direct and indirect speech. I hope you know a small idea about that what is a direct and indirect speech is and we have learned about it either as direct indirect speech or as a reported speech. Now let's see what is a conversation, what is a direct speech and what is an indirect speech. Now over here what do you see? There are two girls and they are speaking something. Anne is asking, do you love Chris? And Ella is answering that, yes, I love him. Can you call this as a direct speech? No, this is a conversation. Direct speech is used to convey the idea that the people involved are speaking to each other directly. Basically, that is the idea. Rende peyru ninnittu, samsharikinu, alengi prando adil adhikamo peyru ninnittu, that the people involved in the conversation are speaking to each other directly. But over here, if you are putting it in a box like this and you are seeing it, you can say it as a conversation. And then how do we say a direct speech is different? And then how a direct speech is different? Direct speech will be in this form. Let's see. These conversations are verbatim in direct speech. Exactly as they are spoken. Over here, Anne, do you love Chris? But when it comes to direct speech, Anne asked Ella, do you love Chris? And you can see the, the conversation or the speech what you have said. The conversation what you have made is put in quotation marks. Ella told Anne, yes, I love him. Now, this is how a direct speech is different. Now, looking to this part, there are two parts in every direct speech. This direct speech part. The first part is this. Anne asked Ella. Or Ella told Anne. And this is called a reporting part. This is speaker girl boy. conversation type. Like are you going to say something? Or you are asking something? Or you are commanding something? Something like that. All these ideas are collected from this first part of the direct speech. The reporting part. Now, the, the second part, the part, uh, second part, the first part, the reporting part, the word using a comma. Okay. Now, the second part always is, it is called a speech part and it always contains a quotation mark and it starts with a capital letter. Remember, okay, in the direct speech, the speech part Starts with a quotation mark and a capital letter. Abe either onnum evda onda villa indirect speech le onda villa. Apo or direct speech le rend part onda gum. One is the reporting part and it contains a reporting verb. Y reporting verb arna yend the type of conversation arna nada kanda. Whether you are asking something, whether you are commanding something, whether you are reporting something, whether you are exclaiming, wondering. Whatever it is, whatever be the type of your conversation, the reporting verb in the reporting part will help you to understand that. And the second part is the speech part. Let's move on to the second slide. Now, indirect speech. So, all, now we understood what is a direct speech. We have a direct speech. Let's see. Indirect speech is used to narrate the conversation between two people to a third person. Namada Nalla Vashe Parana Vosi Pachu. Rande Vedan in the Samsari Kinu Adil or Al Adijan the Vera Rolo Parega. Okay, over here Anne and Ella are speaking. 
ഇത് സംസാരിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഈ ആൻ പോയിട്ട് ആൻ്റെ ഒരു ഫ്രണ്ടിനോട് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു ആർ റിപ്പോർട്ടിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഓർ രണ്ട് പേരിൽ നിന്ന് സംസാരിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് ദർ ഇസ് എ തേർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ കമ്മിങ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് തേർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ ഈസ് ഓവർ ഹിയറിംഗ് ദി കോൺവെർസേഷൻ ഓർ ഹിയറിംഗ് ദി കോൺവെർസേഷൻ മേ ബി ഡയറക്ട്ലി ഇൻവോൾവ് ഇൻ ദി കോൺവെർസേഷൻ വി ക്യാൻ സീ ഇറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് okay two or three people are talking together and one of that group one among that group okay a group il undayirna aarengil oral chennittu mattoralode ee conversation e kurichittu parayuvaanengil if this grandma is going and uh, talking about this conversation to aunt's father we can say it is an indirect speech so it's a it's it's used to narrate it's a story type it is used to narrate the conversation between two people to a third person now this is not a this is not verbatim like what you got nammal paranja adu pole not exactly repeating as they are spoken nammal paranja endano angane parayna oru parivadi ee indirect speech il illa over here let's see nammal and do you love chris and asks ella whether she loves chris now there is no question mark there is no comma there is no quotation mark okay ella tells and that she loves chris or ella says that she loves chris okay this is how the indirect speech goes now indirect speech usually has a noun clause that begins with that mikkavarum or that vechittayirikkum indirect speech inde second part start cheyyunnathu aar aarodu parayunu ennullad adhyam parayunu ella tells an or an ask ella and then if it is a sentence you use a that clause and if it is a question especially with yes or no questions you ask with whether or if so either it starts with a that or with a wh word whether what why etc ini reporting verb aite etum kodudil use cheynathu said um told um aanu nan ivide eduthathu present tense aanu mathre ullu ask says etc now when you are using said and told there are two more three two or three things which you have to keep in mind rendu pere ninnu samsarikkumbo okay when i know the two persons who are in co- who are involved in conversation i know that an is asking ella or ella is answering an ivide rendu perdeyum peru namak ariyam angane vannan you say ella told tia or ella told an okay rendu perde peru undengil if you know to whom that that the idea is con- con- uh, communicated to to whom the person is speaking to if you know that the other person ningal karoda idu parayna nariya engil you use don't use said to but said to ne pagare end upayogikya told you say ga rendu perudeyum per ariyam engil ningalku told you say illa engil ella says that oraale maatre ariyathullu engil aare aara parayna nu maatrame ningalku ariyathullu engil you use says or said ella said that and said that grandma said that okay grandma told amma ella told am father told me adana said and told in tamil ulla major vyathyasam you never says you never use said to you use told okay i hope i am clear to you so when the object of the reporting verb to whom you are speaking to if it is mentioned instead of using said to use told okay idu kudal exercise cheyumba namaku manasilagum now let's see this oru sentence direct speech il ninnu indirect speech ilekku maarumbo there is a change in the reporting verb said told asked wanted to not every time you need to use said epolu ningalku said thanne parannu undirikkana vannu epolu ningalku told thanne parayana onnu illa reporting verb can be changed according to the sentence type so if it is a question you can ask asked if it is some enquiry ningalku oralu vannu vali chodichu the stranger wanted to know the way to the railway station so you can use wanted to know he can enquire in the booking office 
wondered, explained, remarked. This is the report of the report of the reporting verbs. Now, the reporting verb is the first one. The first one is personal pronouns. The reporting verb is the first part of the first part. The reporting verb is the first part of the first part. Personal pronouns are all the same. I, he or she or she or she or we, they or she. So, in the sentence, you can find all the personal pronouns. That is what you can find. Change in the adjectives, adverbs and adverbial phrases of time. Something related to time. You cannot say today. That is, I am now talking to you. I am talking to you. I am talking to you. I am talking to you. I will call you tomorrow. I am going to tell my friend, okay, suppose my friend is Meera and I tell Meera that I will call you tomorrow. I will call you tomorrow. Meera, one day I will call you tomorrow. Meera, one day I will call you tomorrow. She will not be able to call you tomorrow. Now, if she is reporting that, how will, be she, how will she report it? Like, she has to say, Lois told uh, me that she will call tomorrow. Enam barang ni turun do. Enam barang ni tu kari undo. Raya itu kari ni tu barang ini bo. Awal ni nana nala buli kaya undo barang ni dah. Enam barang ni tu kari ni lale. So am nala ini barang ini time ini dia nama marana, right? So that 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 time will be changed to next day. Adit tu dua belas ni buli kaya undo barang ni dah. Idu barang ini dia dila buli chilla, okay? Bombay le, ni an adit tu musim pogo. Poi kaya ni tu hari masa muda kaya ni tu report ni, ini jangan ada tu masa pukul tu barang ni tu kari lalu. Ya, the next month. Inginnya ni macam apa orang dah agam. So, evda kaya marah ni tu direct indirect speech agam. One is reporting verb marum. Second one ni the personal pronouns will change. And third one, the related to the phrases related to time will change. Now. Last one which you need to give more importance is the change in tenses. Let's see the examples. See this. I will call you tomorrow. Friday night ilu or friend parai gaya. I will call you tomorrow. And then Tuesday larna e kutti endi inadu reporti inadu. He said that. Now I and I, he I personal pronouns change inadu. रिपोर्ट चेंजी दो, सेड, ही टोल्ड मी, अलग ही ही सेड दैट, ही टेंस मारी, आई मारी, टेंस मारी, ही वुड कॉल मी द नेक्स्ट डे, फ्रेज मारी, राइट? ओके, लेट्स सी वन मोर, आई लाइक पीटर, आई लाइक पीटर, शी, सो दिस लेडी she said that like she said i and i she i tense to marry like die she liked peter not a chan report another she liked you peter and i you i okay let's see one more i'm baking cookies for jean so there's a grandma i'm baking cookies for jean so mother is going to Tell Jean, Grandma said that she is baking cookies for you. Okay, so there is a change in the reporting verb. If you have a reporting verb, you can see that the conversation is not a direct speech. So, reporting verb is not a said, 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 or told, whatever it be. And then there is a change in personal pronouns I, he, I. I, she, I, I am, she is, I. There's a change in the phrases of time. Tomorrow, the next day, I. There's a change in tense. I like Peter. She liked you. Now, let's see. There would again the camera. First one, this, this table which you have to keep in mind always. Write it down. When the... What are the changes that will happen? The major changes that will happen to the phrases of time. Direct and indirect speech. This will become that. These. Those. Here. There. 
hereafter, thereafter, now, then, ippor, apor, today, in, an, that day, yesterday, the day before, or the previous day. So remember the yesterday, the thing you to remember, tell them the very. The day before or the previous day. Tonight, that night. Today, that day. Tonight, that night. The day before yesterday. Two days before. Tomorrow, the next day or the following day. The day after tomorrow. In two days time. Thus, so, next year, the following year, next week, the following week, last year, the previous year, last week, the previous week, the, the, the previous week, a year ago, a year before or a year earlier, right? So, these are the major changes that will happen from, um, with the phrases of time. Now, the changes of tenses, change, change in tenses mainly. Now, let's see. If it is, you have to first keep an eye on the reporting verb. Check whether the reporting verb, verb is in present tense or future tense. Now, the reporting verb is in direct speech. Adite part in a reporting part in the Dandamate part in a speech part in the brain. Up a direct speech in a reporting verb. Adinagat reporting part in Agatha reporting verb. A reporting verb present tense law, future tense law, anonu no kunu. Now present tense and future tense are anangil, it is used for current or future or permanent situations. Upon is amid the present tense one last sentence in Athe speech part in Allah. Tense in Avato, Uru Matum Verilla. Pattern months lay Langil Namkunoka. Let's see this. I am baking cookies for Jean. Nyan, Jean cookies on Taki Gondikia. A day Sametha and Amma Mono report Egea. Grandma said she is baking. So there's no change in the tense. I am baking. Present continuous tense. She is baking. Present continuous tense. So if it end the la. Tense in a Okay. Let's see this. The weather forecast says it is going to be hot. news weather forecast says it is going to be hot. Why get a report said that it was going to be hot in the It was going to be hot. Nerte hot No. That, that the process or the idea is going to happen something sometime in the future. So, angane aanengil. Namal endi tensil thane continue chega madhi. Let's see this. Easy. Reporting part. The weather forecast says. Says is in present tense. So, the whole sentence should be in present tense. The weather forecast says that it is going to be hot. Clear? Aba reporting verb present tense lo, reporting verb future tense lo aanengil. Whole sentence in the Lidia Madi Ade tense Lithane continue Cheda Madi. Let's see this. Mira says, My parents live in Delhi. So the first part, reporting part, Adinathola reporting verb says present tense. So Mira says that Baki Kamaru, my and the Mira, her parents live in Delhi. Okay. Let's see some more examples. He says, I am sorry. So, you can see tense in the tense. Because reporting verb already is the tense. Present tense. He says that he, I am sorry, is in present continuous tense. So, he is sorry. He has said to me, has said present Perfect tense. So there's no change in the tense. He has said to me that said to. He has told me. He has told me that he. Pinahau He has a 
camera. He will say, I can solve the problem. Who will say? Future tense. So present tense are not future tense are not tense. He will say that he can solve the problem. The teacher said, If it already is one, said the leg of past tense like a reporting verb. But then the sun rises in the east. The teacher said the sun rises in the east. Speech park noka. So in Kedaka. So, if it is a permanent situation, you can continue it in the same tense. The teacher said that the sun rises in the east. So, in three cases, you can use the tense in the use of the tense in the use of the use of the tense in the use Reporting verb, one sentence in the verb on down. Reporting part, one verb on the speech part, one verb on the reporting verb. Other present tense, lo, future tense, lo, an angle. Second part, the tense, ne, one matto illa. Now, other same, this reporting verb past tense, la, where is the angle? Tense, ne, matto, where? Other, ane, two good, the, lo, number, lo, the, parish, ki, chodi, ki, nadu. Now, reporting verb is in past tense, like said. Or told or commanded. Then the tense of the conversation, the verbs and direct speech have to be changed into corresponding past tense forms. Okay, let's see this. First word, simple present. And simple past tense like maru. Examples I want chocolates, said the boy. So if a reporting party done, said the boy. Reporting verb said done. So it's already in the past tense. Sentence. Speech part. I want chocolates. It is in simple present. That is what I Simple past tense. Okay. The boy said that he, I and I, the boy, the pronoun, he want, wanted chocolates. Clear? So, reporting verb past tense is Present tense or the sentence ne ngote kaakum past tense leke kaakum simple past tense. Present continuous tense aagum bed leke kaamarnam past continuous tense leke kaamarnam. David said, "I am waiting for Tom." First part it is clear now. David said that. David said that. I am daagum he. I am daagum he was. He was waiting for. Tom. Okay. Present perfect. Tense present perfect. Past perfect like matter. Ipalapo ele. Simple present tense. Simple past like matter. Present continuous. Past continuous like. Present perfect. Past perfect like. I have finished my work. Said Balu. Apo. Balu said that. Have finished and the um, had finished. Um. Balu said that he had finished his work. He had finished my his cell, his work. Present perfect continuous and the past perfect continuous. She said to her mother, I have been reading for three hours. She said to her mother, said to Anganya Pinandakum, told Akum. She told her mother that she had been reading for three hours. So, simple present, simple past, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous. I hope you are getting it. Reporting verb past tense we change from one form one form of the tense to the other form of the tense. Now, simple present online simple past like a Simple past past perfect like a Okay. I woke up late. He said, I woke up late. Simple past. Wake in the past tense of walk. He said, he said that 
he had woken up late okay he said the man landed on moon in 1969 he said that the man had landed on moon in 1969 so landed on moon landed simple past had landed past perfect so past continuous tense like we're going to take a matter past perfect continuous tense like a matter rama said i was knitting then rama said that she had been knitting then appo id engotta maarunnu nalladhu if you have the clear idea then it is pretty easy to change from direct speech to indirect speech past perfect nalladhu past perfect thane irikkum past perfect continuous tense sentence vannu kenja past perfect continuous la thane parayo so there's no need to uh, write that now when it comes with future tense you have to change it into conditional form he said future reporting verb alla send speech part of future varunana he said i shall or i will answer the phone let's say i shall he said that he would answer the phone or conditional statement poleyana parayunathu okay he said that he would adondana ne conditional nu peru parayunathu so future le shall um will um endagunu should um would um agunu okay modals വരുന്നത് ക്യാൻ എന്താകും കുഡാകും ഷി ക്യാൻ ലെൻഡ് മീ മണി സോ ഇൻ എ സെൻറ്റൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോ നോ ഹു ടോൾ ടു ഹും യു ക്യാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ആറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ഹി ഓ ഷി ഓക്കെ ഹി സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഷി കുഡ് ലെൻഡ് ഹിം മണി ഹി സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഷി കുഡ് ലെൻഡ് ഹിം മണി മേ മൈറ്റ് I may go to school tomorrow. She said that she might go to school the next day. Tomorrow or the next day. Will. Would. I will call you. He said that or she promised that she would call me. Shall. When it is used for a prediction. Shall. adaro would ne use cheynadu i will call you tomorrow allegal i shall call you tomorrow the last example we shall study hard for the exam they said that we they they said that they would study hard for the exam when you are doing some prediction but when you are giving some suggestion when you are offering something shall i clear the table then you have to change it to should he asked whether he should clear the table and like he asked if he should clear the table must or had to must or had to than yana you must train harder the coach said that you we we must train harder and like the coach said that we had to train harder should could might or to മാറ്റമില്ല കാരണം ഓൾറെഡി അതെല്ലാം പാസ്റ്റ് ടെൻസിൽ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞു ഇറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് റെയിൻ ടു നൈറ്റ് ഹി സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് മൈറ്റ് റെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് നൈറ്റ് യു ഓർ ടു ട്രാവൽ ബൈ ട്രെയിൻ ഹി അഡ്വൈസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഐ ആകും ഐ ഓർ ടു ട്രാവൽ ബൈ ട്രെയിൻ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് താങ്ക് യു ദസ് എ സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ടു ദിസ് സെഷൻ with uh, how to change the questions from direct speech to indirect speech thank you let's see again